and welcome back to the next episode we are nearly finished on creating all the plates so well we actually have created all the plates let's make us some um, new items uh, not that one that one and really for iron this is why it needs to be in a crafting system already and there we go and atomic reconstructor yay now if we put that there pick this up hopefully it doesn't lose its power nope mm, that doesn't drain power from that I guess not. Huh. Okay. Because uh, usually you have the coal generator next to it. Um, well, this has saddened me because now I've got to make a coal generator because I can't actually get power from here to here. Well, actually, I don't know if I could. No, because I think it needs Restonia, doesn't it? Laser. Because we need to make this, which we don't have enough. And yeah, so we need to make the coal generator. So at least we're ahead a little bit with the dynamos. So let's look at the generator now. So we need to go through that process again of making all this. So we need eight for that and then three for that, three for that, and I need to make some bronze. So while this is doing that, I will go uh, 12 to you and Tin ratio should be three. So three and twelve. Knock you out. Wait for you to finish. Uh, I think it was this one. That one actually can go back on because it's nearly completed. And just to be sure. Look at the configuration. I did the wrong one. That one. Yep. That is turning into bronze, so we can do that. Now, since I'll only accept bronze, uh, I'm missing one tin. Should have been four. So, grab the one tin. Back you back into service. We need three more here, which we're actually out of power of now. So, so this is why you need a constant supply of coal from somewhere completely drained of power where's it all? yeah it's just not enough to feed it through the network so that's why you need that and I'm running all the time but I am using a heap of power here so there's our 12 and then 3 in there Okay, something completely jammed. Okay, so one more lot. 
And I'll be like, damn it, I need to make this now. So we'll find out when we get there. But, mmm. Not quite enough power running into it. So once this is finished, it may be better. I wouldn't have a clue, actually. I don't even know how much power these things use. That doesn't use much. This one using quite a bit. So once that's done, that kicks in for a little bit and then stops. So don't ask me. I'm going this way. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to turn you. Uh, how did I get an extra one of them? Oh, well, whatever. That can go into there. And I did copper instead of tin. Wow. I just realized the mistake that I did. So, that's right, because copper will be very handy in the future. Those plates. Still casing. Ah, it's going to be a pain in the butt. really weird because with all these powers and that stuff you make from the biogen and stuff yeah you make so much power from it and it's like oh you already got all the power that you need why do you want more oh, that's right I needed co coal balls too didn't I so I'll whack them in I will grab some more coal which was two of them wasn't it and that leaves with two left over so aha what a score she jammed it in just before it switched over so Okay, so there is our ah really like that, then like that, and then like that. Okay, so the charcoal one there. So now that's full. yeah see oh it's not quite full but it will be and that's up to 16 so that's not too bad see they, they both get a little bit see 150 to that one and whatever the other else was so they're all done so let's grab some more iron and some more of them I don't know why I keep jumping over it, so... Oh, I need four steel plates. It's always something that I managed to miss. So... We were going up on power. So that last one here is actually draining it. So... our last bit and I need the 
calculator and I uh, actually only needed one that's fine there is our coal generator so you have to get the coal generator from the start and we'll whack in a couple of these which will power that which will actually shoot off and waste power so we need a button so button there oh and I need a redstone that's right or it'll keep bzzzn, bzzzn, bzzzn. so we need one of you actually I had some on me because I don't know why it is off and there we go, pulse. Phew. Uh, this has got bronze in it. That's right, I need to put you back. So you can empty the couple of ingots out. There we go. So now this will charge that. I'll chuck in a bit more. And now I can do this 20 redstone. Change! BAM! Redstonia crystals! Yay! Everybody cheer! Because that allows me to actually tap into the dynamos for better power. So, and we do the LV... That's not what I was after. Uh, this one here, because we need the LV transformer. Because this will hold... 300,000 power I think it is so we need one of them we'll grab the rest of them back uh, we need two treated wood copper lead and steel so two copper uh, piece of lead lead and I've got plenty of iron and what happened to the I have the treated wood on me so we can go doink, doink, and there is our LV capacitor. Now, you should be able to view into this, but you can't. So it's sucky, sucky, sucky. Um, I like to build... Um, it on this stuff here, wooden post. So if I type in post, what does it give me? Nothing that I'm looking for. No, because I put it in port. So posts. So there's your three posts. You got your wooden, you got your steel, and then you got your aluminium. But what I'll do is I will go and cry because we need more goddamn creosote oil, which I'm actually pumping out, so it's okay. Need more wood, which I need more wood. And we just ran out of power in the IC2 room. Once I get the all this up and running, all the RF stuff, we won't run out of it. I just did the wrong thing. We won't run out of power anymore. So... Uh, yeah, it's one of them. Two sticks. As I'll be using a couple of them, I, as well, I might as well make them. Okay, so the way that this works is I actually need the engineering hammer as well. But for now, we'll just get it set up and you put it down like that. Alright, you need some clay. I wonder if I've got any spare clay left over. I haven't looked for clay for a while, but this pack requires tons I am I'm not joking on the tons I have three clay that is not even near close to what I need so let's see nothing in that one nothing in that one and nothing in that one okay so we need to go get more clay and I think clay was over in here a big patch of it 
sand. No, I must have eaten it all. So I know I had some clay around here in one of these. And oops. Didn't want to do that. It is night time. I think it was over this way. So he spotted me. So time to die for you. I win. We have some glowstone pants, but I have better. Uh, okay, quick dip under the water. There it is. So, as I said, this pack requires a lot of clay. I don't know about Endgame. I actually can't remember. So. But it, it does require a lot of clay. And it's best to set up your systems, uh, power systems, so it can handle two voids on level one, which is, I think it's a thousand power per one to run. So, anyway, so we need to now to do these things. <sighs> okay, this is where all the fun and games start. Actually, I need a hammer as well. So, an engineer's hammer. Uh, didn't I make one of them already? Uh, I did. So that is awesome. I will put that away. Um, I really should clean out my inventory because it is just... Ugh. Anyway, okay, so with this, you can cycle those around. I didn't think I had one, but now... Blue is input, orange is output, I think? And this spins it around, so... Okay, but... We need to make a couple of... These. So, these actually require a block. And these require a block. So, we need a few of these. This is why you make these. Now, we wear them over here, and... You cry because that actually is out of power. So, we'll come over here, and we'll use... Okay, so we're out of power everywhere. Not quite, because I've still got some of them. So, so cook that up. And we'll take these back. As I said, I need lots of the stone, because I will be using it to convert all my stuff on the ground. Okay, so we'll put this in here. Let's see how much charcoal we've got. So we don't have much. But this is what we'll have to be doing until we actually can get the RF system working. So... Because currently once we get it working, we'll be good. And I can attach this. So what are we on? We're on 180 power. Nearly filling that up. Connect all this up, and we'll be working. Now, the way that this work is... Uh... Crap. I think I stuffed up. Because I think I need to move that. Onto an arm. So there. And there. Uh... Because you need to do a relay to a connection to a, yeah, two wires to a relay, then the relay to a connection point, and that needs to be here. So, yeah, that's enough. And then we need some copper. So, let's make... Six of them, and eight of them, because you get more out of that than that, as you saw. So, and we need wiring too. So, that plus, no, that needs to be that, which is actually not enough, it's one off. So, what I'll do is I will get... Um, 
five plates squished which will make us eight wiring so how are you coming along you're on your last legs so have one of them and you have that so the only reason why it's taking forever is because I'm doing all of the back lot so just coming along nicely so a little bit more And there is our uh, stick. And then do this, and there we go. We have eight wiring now, so we should be able to connect this quite nicely. So what we do is we go here and here, and then up here. We actually... oh my god. Okay, so here is where... Because they changed it in one of the packs. Oops, wrong way. A relay can't connect to that. But this can go here. This can go here. Not quite... Eh. This can go here. And this can go to here. Now that will actually start charging that bad boy. So that's if it's right, which is wrong. So we will need to... Oh no, because... <laughs> I forgot the water on here. So call me Derp, because that's what my new name is, because I derped up massively. Why doesn't it work? Idiot way no. Okay, usually I make these look pretty cool. I might use hardened stone actually, or whatever this one is, yeah, hardened stone. And I need my tank. And I don't even know where I put my tank. Here, tanky tanky. Quick scan over things to look for the tank. Might be in this one, nope, not even in that one. Okay, uh, I've lost my tank. I guess I'll have to. There it is. See, I'm going blind. Okay, so the tank will be excellent for this. Um, fill that up, that'll do. Now, the problem with this is it will water down everywhere at a certain spot and I can't remember which spot it is but I like doing a outline of this now this doesn't need to go all the way back because you put your water here and then get it flowing the wrong way. So there. So now that will be generating water power, sorry. And spewing water everywhere, like usual. You can add water in certain other places, which is good. Now, if I do here, I think it is. Yes. Now, you dig here. I think that's right. And the water should flow backwards. Yep. And your max power that you should get is something like 88 miles per hour. I am not 100% sure on it, but that's putting another two in the back here and you can actually put uh, 
two or three more there to give it more power. Did I put it in the right spot? I'm pretty sure I did. And you can do another tool along the back here to do something else, but eh, it's not a biggie. So let's build up this side. Now, I'm just wondering if I have enough water. I do not. Now this should be a... Oops. Nope, it's not a permanent water source. Okay. Now that will stop it from leaking water. Uh, usually I do a nice... Um, glass, thick glass in it, but, and, okay, that will, okay, so, I was one off, thought it was close enough, but that's fine, that's okay. So it'll probably annoy me and I'll be like, I gotta change it. So I gotta go back underneath and I need to dig which is not already dug. But it's going under. Are they different heights or something? No, 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 I stuffed up. So yes, I've put put them one too far away. Because usually I have them joining, or yeah, one in one separated in the middle, but I'll fix it later. So that side's done, and then you can add the extra just under here, which will give it more power. Now this should... There we go, now it's accepting power. So it's the first one after, yeah, so blue, so that should be orange. And there we go. Now we have a productive waterfall water system. I really don't like that. I'm going to get angry with it. Now which one's out though? Anyone really, so I probably could pick this one up and move it. So. See if I, I, don't, I don't like that one spot. I don't like this actually. There we go. That's good enough. Oh, I see. That's what made it come out. I put this in the wrong spot. Actually, I can break that. So... There. I was right. Okay. Ignore me. Got to make it symmetrical. Look symmetrical. Like that. There we go. So, and that's already at 100k. So, yeah. Now to get power out of it, you need to go with you here. And then, if you want, you go with another one of these. See, it's only really one of them, and I built this in the wrong area. Um, so I'll probably end up having moving it, because there's not enough room to do the machines. So, unless I just start digging into here. I didn't really want to dig into the village. But it will be a lot of work to get this. I don't know why I built them. I could just actually spin these around on the other side. Nope. I'm going to have to do another big thing. I need to get... Lots and lots of gunpowder. I have basic power, so this should be good. This should be alright for a while until I start needing more power. So if I go you there and I do a relay on it, like 
so, and then a power to there, to there, and then as you know, don't need this or this anymore, which I will put down just here because they will come in handy in the future because when I recharge my stuff leave some sticks in there and then I can actually remove this and put you in the middle here with a outlet and oh, the connection is obstructed bollocks There you go. That will actually supply power to all of that. Now, I don't know if I'll lose my power and stuff with this. Which actually I could move that, can't I? Hmm. I do it he over here. That won't get in the way too much. And then we can just do this for now because it's only one. So there we go. We have our pulsar, and now we have permanent power for it. Now, I can make uh, ch -ch -ch the crusher, which is a little expensive, but can be done. We could do the double crusher, which actually would be easy to go straight forth, and the power furnace. So, we can go straight ahead and go do that. But also, I'll need an energizer, and innovator I don't, I don't know I think it's that one that I need for my boots okay but it is up wrapping point in time and I'm going to take a break so I'll see you next episode I don't know if I'm doing any more tonight but I will be uploading these next week um, I have like 20 episodes ish so you will get 20 of them I need to start playing modern skyblock 2 um, again so yeah, by the time you get all this, it'll be all up and done anyway. So, thank you for watching anyway. Um, like, subscribe, give me a comment, the usual. Tell your mum, tell your dad, tell your sister, tell your brother, tell your friends, you know, tell the dead. And thanks for watching, ladies, and have fun.